Hi friends, this is Dr. Megha Sharma, Assistant Professor of Science, Biani Girls College. Today I am going to discuss the topic monoclonal antibody on behalf of GuruKPO.com, right? Now let's discuss the topic. The first topic is hybridoma technology. The formation of antibody, monoclonal antibody means the technique used is hybridoma technology, which was invented by Kohler and Milestein in 1975 and they got the Nobel Prize for this invention, right? Now the second thing why there is need to form a need to produce monoclonal antibody. First thing we should know about the immune system that antibodies are the molecules which fight against the certain diseases or antigens, right? Now these antigens uh, can harm to our body and these are removed by our immune system through the process of antibody formation which is produced by our uh, bone marrow cells like B cells and this property of antibody for cleaning the waste or for cleaning the any foreign material which can harm to your body is utilized in the formation of and this principle is utilized in the formation of monoclonal antibody. Normally kya hota hai? antibody is very much specific for their antigen right and this property is harnessed by the monoclonal antibody formation or hybridoma technology. Now let us start with the monoclonal antibody formation first thing that it is monoclonal means it can can identify a single antigenic determinant. Antigenic determinants are the receptors present on the epitopes which is recognized by antibody. Got it? Now the next thing is first of all we have to produce antibodies in the model and the model is mice and the first step is immunization of mice. For the particular antibody formation you have to introduce that antigen only which will be identified that particular antibody. After a certain period of time uh, bef uh, after immunization what we get? We get in blood or circulation a high titer of antibody. When this volume of antibody is high you have to remove the spleen from the mice right after that B cells are removed and you have to take the two cells for the formation of hybridoma. Look B cells have a certain lifespan means definite lifespan which can die and we cannot utilize this B cells for the continuous culture in the animal tissue culture technology for the formation of antibody for the long period of time. So we have to take another cell which is known as myeloma cell and when these two cells fuse they forms the hybrid and this no, uh, these cells are known as hybridoma, right? Now the second step is after the immunization of mice, you have to screen, you have to screen your spleen cells, your blood circulation for the formation of antibody when the amount of antibody is very much high. You remove these spleen cells. After this, you have to take myeloma cells in the animal tissue culture and spleen cells, B cells. And two things you should keep in mind always: spleen cells are Ig positive. Ig is what? Ig is immunoglobulin. And immunoglobulin means antibodies and HGPRT positive. Now the thing is what is HGPRT? HGPRT is hypoxanthine guanine ribozyl transferase. This is the enzyme responsible for the purine synthesis. Ab you have to need the cells which is only antibody producing by the B cells not by myeloma cells. So you have to take those myeloma cells which are immunoglobulin minus means they cannot produce their own antibody. Second thing it should be HGPRT minus. If the myeloma cells have HGPRT positive enzyme means the enzyme is present in myeloma cell then there will be undesirable growth which is not demandable and which is not very uh, reproducible in the hybridoma technology. So you should select the myeloma cells which are HGPRT minus. Now the third thing is the cells are fused and the technique is known as somatic cell hybridization. Somatic cell hybridization in which we use PEG. PEG is what? Polyethylene glycol. Polyethylene glycol what it uh, done? What, uh, it takes the two membranes and allowed it to fuse. Okay? Now the third thing is you have to test the animal cell culture for the formation of the fused cell or unfused cell. Now you get three counterparts of the cell. What is that? First is you get unfused B cells, third you get second you get unfused myeloma cells and uh, fused hybridoma. 
you get three types of cells and in these three types of cells you have to select only your hybridoma cells right and if fusion of B cell and fusion of myeloma cell B cell will produce its own antibody against its specific antigen and myeloma cell will give the immortal part it is the immortal partner means indefinite cell growth ke liye aap myeloma cell or B cell ko fuse karwate ho now the selection part ab aap select kaise karoge to aapko ek particular selective medium chahiye jo ki sirf kisko grow karwaye aapke hybridoma cells ko for that the medium is known as hat medium hat medium ki full form hoti hai hypoxanthine aminopterin and thymidine ye kya karta hai isme ek drug hoti hai aminopterin jo ki dihydrofolate reductase ko inhibit karta hai and this enzyme is responsible for purine biosynthesis see myeloma cells have the capability to synthesize their own purines by the alternate pathway they can synthesize but we don't need myeloma cells to further divide we need only indefinite life span quality from the myeloma cells that uh, that is how we use aminopterin which is a analog which is a drug inhibitor bind to dihydrofolate reductase enzyme and inhibits the alternate pathway for the purine biosynthesis right now the third things we get hat medium uh, b cells jo unfused b cells the aur jo unfused myeloma cells the unfused myeloma cells die in the culture as they are sgprt minus aur humne uski alternate pathway purine synthesis ki wo bhi kya kar di hai इनिबिट कर दिए बाई द यूज ऑफ अमिनोप्टेरिन नाउ द थर्ड थिंग बी सेल्स क्या करते हैं बी सेल्स का खुद का अपना एक लाइफ स्पेन होता है वो भी कुछ टाइम के बाद में डाई हो जाते हैं इसलिए हैट मीडियम में सिर्फ कौन से सेल्स ग्रो करेंगे हाइब्रिडोमा सेल्स दिस इज हाउ हाइब्रिडोमा सेल्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड फॉर द फर्दर इनका इनका सब कल्चर करने के लिए या आपको मोर अमाउंट ऑफ क्वान्टिटी इसकी लेने के लिए क्या करना पड़ता है या तो आप इसको इन विट्रो ग्रो कर सकते हैं लाइक हाइब्रिडोमा टेक्नोलॉजी या आप इन वीवो उस माइस के अंदर आप उसको इंजेक्ट करके अगेन एंटीबॉडी फॉर्मेशन उसके फ्लूड से ले सकते हो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो प्लीज़ लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दी ग्रो केपियर डॉट कॉम थैंक्स